Okay, I'm up pretty high from the river, but I can see some fish down there. So that's where I'm gonna go. Aw, oh, damn, I ain't nowhere to get down over here. I'm gonna have to take these rocks. Whoa. Going the wrong direction from where I wanna be going. That was a lot harder than it should have been. I've actually been here before, tried to fish this area, but I was on the other side. Climbed down the concrete ditch there. Oh, oh, I got one. That's a good one. You see that? That's a really nice one. Uh, it's not that big, he's just putting up a fight. Oh, he... Probably a four pound one here. And I got him in the lip, so I'll be able to get my hook back. I hate it when they swallow it, so... And I got this guy, I got him up on land. This is a pretty good sized one, this might... Uh, possibly beat out my personal best. And he snapped off the hook. Damn it. At least I got him in before he did it. Got some teeth in him. He's got a strong jaw. Ah, there we go. 4.29 which it's not that big it's not my personal best but it's a good one I'll take it and he put up a hell of a fight probably the biggest fight out of any catfish I've had even the the ones that were eight nine ten pounds that I've hooked but couldn't land All right, let's try to get a little free here. There he goes, swimming off. I got another one, and look at the way this thing's bending the rod. <laughs> My recording. Okay. Bring him over here. Bending the hard, the rod more than any other fish I've caught, but he's not fighting as hard. He's not quite as heavy, I don't think. Nah, that's it. It's not a bad one either. <laughs> Get the hook out of his mouth there. There we go. This one's biting hard. Let him sit there for a little while. Calm down. Oh, he's biting hard. Damn it. Ugh. Why is it so hard to get weight on these catfish? I got an idea. Let's make it easier on me and the fish. Ugh. I'm gonna tear up a plastic bag. All right.
4.54. Look at that. It's one one hundredth of a pound. Pretty smaller than my personal best that I've weighed. Big heaviest one I've weighed was 4.55. This was 4.54. Alright, let's try to pick him up here. Get the release and recording. There you go. A little bit dirty, but he'll be all right. Swimming off. Uh, it's two fish now I've caught on the Shakespeare Tiger. And it it actually was stiffer against those turtles. <laughs> it has been against these catfish. These catfish are bending it down pretty far. Got something there. What do we got? Is that a cat? No. What is that? I don't know. Thought it looked like a catfish there for a second, but it's a bass. And it shook the Senko loose. And this is not a bad bass right here. This is a nice one. Well, I mean, he's not that long, but he's fat. Look at that. Is that a that's a largemouth too. I've never caught a largemouth out of the river. That's nice. Let me get back over here. Away from the water so he doesn't get away from me if he slips off. <laughs> yep, that's a largemouth. It's not a bad one at all. Which is... I'm just surprised that, the, that it's a largemouth. 1.66 pounds. It's not a bad fish at all. I've never caught a largemouth out of this river. That's crazy. I catch spotted bass all the time. Catch Guadalupe bass, which are supposed to be rare. Today's turned out to be a really good day. Ugh. I got this, uh, I guess it's like a Christmas tree green with uh, purple and blue flakes. Oh, come on. Yep, yeah, got one. They always get me when I'm not paying attention. This is another, another nice one. Oh man, he slipped off. This one is another largemouth, I think. Stop jumping around. Mm, no, I think this one might be a spot. It's hard to say. The mouth is kind of big on it, though. Try to get a picture of it with the bridge in the background. This one's probably going to be a little lighter. Oh no, this one's 1.48, just a little bit smaller. The other one was like 1.6 something, I think. 1.48. Yeah, there we go. He's gone. <laughs>